Howdy y'all, I'm Ice Gold, and Wizard101 has a balance problem. And by balance problem, I mean the new balance spell, Rainbow Serpent. Um, <laughs> I don't actually have my balance leveled up to max yet, but I guess controversy surrounding the spell before it got changed got me thinking about Arch Mastery and uh, what's going on with that. Before we start, though, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a day. He has been trying to beat the whole game with minions only, which I think is a pretty interesting way to play the game. So I will be leaving his link in the description. Tell him I scold such. I am sure he would appreciate some new viewers as I think what he's doing has been really, really cool. So if you're interested in that, go check him out. Uh, now. Many of you know that Arch Mastery was added to the game with the Novus update, so it's been around for about a year. And basically, you set your Arch Mastery here in your deck to whatever school you want to do. And I have mine set as life because I like to use Rat Spin on the first round. But Balance's new spell, and this is the same for the Novus spell that they got called Scales of Destiny, uh, this requires two different school pips, which I find a little bit interesting. Uh, it, it certainly fits with the whole uh, balance thing, hitting with multiple schools, that type of deal. But this and what Rainbow Serpent used to be, you couldn't use this on the first round because if you were a balance wizard and you set your Arch Mastery pip to Ice, for example, you would still have to wait to get to the Life pip uh, in order to use the spell Scales of Destiny. And it was the same thing with uh, Rainbow Serpent, where it required a Storm and a Death Pit. In my honest opinion, I thought that did round out the spell pretty nicely. Uh, it is meant to be, it is meant to be, like, have an influence from both Storm and Death. But because of the whole Arch Mastery debacle, they had to change it to the point where now it uses Balance's DPP, uh, and it does Storm damage. Uh, which is how it incorporates the storm element because it lost the storm pip requirement and now only takes the death pip. That's and, and, the, and the root of that is with Arch Mastery and how that works because you can't just get both the pips you need on the first round because uh, the way you get your pips is you get one from your deck, a regular power pip from your wand, and then you get another power pip with a set chance to for it to be a school pip. If you do get the, I guess, death school pip, for example, first round, you would have needed to wait again for the storm pip. And I think that there is a good way to fix this, and that is simply by making the power pip that your wand gives you, uh, at level 170 at least, or even 160, hell. I mean, that would be... <laughs> that would make the issue with uh, questing through Wallaroo go away pretty much uh, if you're on a balance. But to make it give a school pip instead of just the regular power pip. And the reason why the devs refuse to go for this is because they value a school pip higher than a regular power pip for some goofy ass reason. And that never made sense to me. Because uh, I mean, I get I get that the school pips are meant to be more powerful than a regular power pip in that you can use spells of any school with them. It just didn't really make a whole lot of sense with me, at least for PVE. Uh, so because they are weighted more, the devs don't want multiple school pips. Uh, early school pips, starting school pips on wands. So, I mean, sure, <laughs> you know, but it would have been nice if uh, there was a way for balance to keep both school pips, but be able to get them both on the first round. And I think this, this would have done it, but I don't think they're gonna spring for that. But the issues with Arch Mastery only start there. Um, another mechanic that the devs seem so dead set on keeping is the idea of competing with your teammates for the school pips. And the, the way this works is, my Arch Mastery rating is 128. Um, and you know, I'm alone right now, so I get my life pit first turn, which means I can use Ride of Spin and clear these wildfire trees first turn. But there have been times, uh, specifically when farming, where somebody else has a higher Arch Mastery rating than me. Um, and I use the 
had used rather the Darkmoor deck ever since level 100 because I just <laughs> never got a better one to drop. <laughs> but uh, the Darkmoor deck does not give any Arch Mastery rating, and there are other decks out there that do, uh, namely the Void deck, uh, Nullity, Eon, and then of course all the pack decks. <laughs> I gotta throw those in there. There were times where I could not help my team clear mobs on the first round because other people on my team had higher Arch Mastery ratings than me, so I couldn't use my Rat Spin. Uh, and the way to counteract this is to just have the Dragoon Amulet, but these take a while. <laughs> and uh, needing a specific piece of gear that takes a damn long time to farm for should not be integral to the farming experience as a Life or a Death Wizard, since uh, those are the two classes that do not get a standard 4 pip AoE. And another interesting thing was, <laughs> I was pin farming a couple weeks ago um, on my death to set up for uh, raids, and while I was there, this one guy stepped into my team up with the Eon deck and five Archmaster Jewel socketed. I believe he had a tier one on his a fame. Um, I think a tier and a square on his amulet, and then probably a tier on his ring and a tier on his deck. That's excessive. And I'll tell you this much, it took me until round three, round three, with my standard paradox deck on my death for farming. It took me three rounds to be able to get a single school pip. And if y'all know Dawn, uh, you can't use spells that are ranked 4 or higher, which basically limits you to baby spells or lore spells. And lore spells require a school pit now, for whatever reason, without getting any damage increases to make up for that. Uh, even though the devs supposedly value a school pip as more than a power pip. But, I digress, team. But, if you couldn't tell, I hate that mechanic. Everybody except Ratbeard hates that mechanic. I wish they would change it, but I'm not holding my breath. I'm not super optimistic about that. Um, I think that that mechanic should just be done away with entirely because hitting on the first turn is very, very important for convenience's sake. And if I am not able to get my Arch Mastery Pip that I need for this uh, on the round that I need it, then that creates a whole problem and it makes people not want to farm on their life or death wizards even if they need uh, pins that are specific to life or death like uh, these shield pins for example uh, like these life school only balance uh, fire and myth resist pins as well as the outgoing healing pins those are really important as a life and uh, you need to farm for those and on your life, and that can be a real problem uh, if you are going into team ups and people just have insane levels of arch mastery, <laughs> like that one guy did who was running the Eon deck and then five arch mastery jewels. But kind of just is what it is. You can also team troll with that uh, if you run. I think tiers and squares exist. I could be I could be wrong. I know squares exist. I know, I know squares and tiers exist, uh, so that means you could run an Arch Mastery Jewel here, so 15, 30, 60, 75, no, 90 actually, because uh, tier and square, and then up to 105 extra Arch Mastery, um, depending on what deck you have. And I believe for the Eon deck, I think the Eon deck it might give like 60 or something, so... 165 added on to the 128 base is nearly 300 Arch Mastery rating. Like, you could effectively stop your entire team from getting Arch Mastery pips if you were to run that. And I think if Kao wants to avoid this happening, he should do something about that. I feel like everybody should get Arch Mastery pips at the same rate. And then rating should really just apply in like PvP or something. Because that is something that can matter there. And it's only 1v1 at the moment. So you can't bog down anybody else with it. 
or people you're supposed to be working together with. It's not very MMO of them uh, to have this mechanic in the game, and I think they should change it. And while we're on that topic, um, at lower levels, you can get spells like, you know, Rat Spin, Deer Knight, Reindeer Knight, and all these other, you know, low pip lore spells uh, that can be integral to your questing experience uh, just to speed things up. But you will need to go and buy an Arch Mastery Jewel from. I believe Catherine Rockhammer in the shopping district, and you can't even do it until level 15 uh, when Jewel Socketing becomes available. So that's just another thing. Uh, it's really just insult to injury, uh, and I don't think that should be a mechanic either. I get why they want to lock it behind level 50, but they just shouldn't. Because <laughs> uh, it would be so much better if I could just start up a new character and just give it ship of fools or whatever and then just full send uh that would be much more convenient and i wouldn't have to not only wait until level 15 but potentially even get the spells rather slowly uh which is something that i know firsthand can happen with uh how i've been questing my balance so it's rough like that once you hit level 50 the issue mostly goes away but still and um <laughs> back to the whole teammates bogging you down thing while questing at any level, and uh, this happened to me on stream while I was questing in Wallaroo as well, uh, if someone is a higher level than you, you will not get school pips at the rate they do, which significantly slows down team play, since, you know, the higher your level, the higher your base rating is. So even if you run the same deck as your friend, like say for example you're level 163 and they're level 165, they are always going to get the pip up on you, uh, unless they deliberately run lower arch mastery than you and even then with <laughs> with how it works you'll get the pip up over them and it's back to square one on it so just uh unfortunate there now there's also the issue where new players won't know what arch mastery actually is uh and having a new diego quest could help with that i have met people who don't know uh what the pips are or uh, the school pips are at least, it can be confusing. Uh, people get taught that power pips are supposed to count for two pips of their own school and their own school only, but there isn't exactly a guide. I mean, I know there's one out by the arena, but uh, having a Diego quest that could, you know, walk you through it, could teach you how to switch around your pips, uh, because I ran into so many people in uh, the Eon of a Tavis fight, who wanted so badly to help out during the Polymorph phase, but since they didn't know how to change their pips, they couldn't, and the most they could do is just use utility spells. They, they threw you into that blind, which I think was not very good. I think they should have at least added something uh, telling people what Arch Mastery was all about and how you could use it to your benefit, because Arch Mastery really is a cool system. I like it. Uh, I really like it a lot, but it definitely has its pitfalls that the devs just don't really seem to want to fix. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm holding out hope that uh, maybe they will. Maybe they'll have a change of heart about the whole teammates bogging you down type thing. But we'll just have to see how it goes. But yeah, I think that is going to about wrap up. I guess the too long didn't watch <laughs> of this video is... Uh, Arch Mastery good, but the dev's idea of it bad <laughs> is uh, kind of just what's going on here. It is seriously one of the coolest systems in the game, but it could be so much more if all of the problems were ironed out and uh, it was easier for people to learn about them. So best case scenario, the devs listen and do something about it. So let's hope that happens sooner as opposed to later. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ice Gold. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave like 50 comments for the algorithm, and I'll see y'all later.